hey guys hey besties welcome to welcome back to my channel oh my god this is something to get used to but anyways if i'm talking a little bit like low or whispery it's just because i'm tired like i went to sleep last night well not even last night girl this morning at 5 a.m and i woke up and i was like you know what you know what's gonna make me wake up the gym but it just made me more tired and then i had a big meal afterwards so now i have food coma at least i worked out right so as you can see my hair is like growing out to you guys this is probably not that much hair but for me i like being bald I, I like being bald headed i like rubbing my head and it being bald like i don't know i just don't like having too much hair so i got me some bleach and I also got some hair dye, but I'm not going to say what colour until the end of the video. Or maybe I will, I don't know. Depends on how I feel. So, people always ask me how do I dye my hair, how do I shave my head by myself. Because I do do everything myself. I cut it myself, I bleach it myself, I dye it myself. So, this is basically like a tutorial. Sorry, I'm using my sunset lamp as a ring light because my ring light is not charged up. So, we improvise it. So, I have a little bag that I've set up underneath me to catch all the hairs that I'm gonna shave. These are the clippers that I use and it comes with loads of different guards. The guard that I use is number three because I like it having really, really short. I kind of start from the back because I don't know, the back is always the hardest one to do, especially if you do it yourself because I can't see the back of my hair. So I just kind of feel it out. <laughs> See all that purple hair? So the main question I always get asked about my hair is why do I do it? Like people ask me, why do you shave your head? Like, is there a reason? Some people think that, you know, do I have an illness or something that makes me have to shave my head? To be honest, it's just, I just don't like having hair. It's really that simple. And I don't have any attachment to my hair. Like now it's grown out. I don't really feel like, oh my God, I can't. I don't want to say that, you know what I mean? I just feel a lot prettier without hair, you know? Because when I was younger, I was so insecure about my looks. I feel like I attached so much importance to like things that I could lose, like my hair. I kind of got to a point where I didn't want to attach my confidence and me feeling good about myself to anything. I just wanted to like myself for me. I didn't want to attach my worth to things that are not gonna last. Looks fade, hair falls out, your skin can break out, just like mine is breaking out right now. <laughs> but do you get what I mean? And then once I started shaving my head more regularly, I just feel more confident. I know that hair doesn't define my femininity. That's what it is at the end of the day. People always say to me, you shouldn't shave your head, you're a girl. You're gonna look like a man. I have conversations with loads of girls that do wanna shave their head, but they're like, oh, I'm scared of looking like a boy. But it's just hair. You you know like i get i get that attachment people have on their hair but it really is just hair like it'll grow back does it really matter if i'm bald does it really matter if you're bald not really let me get back to shaving this chair this is the best feeling ever oh i had a whole shit look at the waves though oh my days that looks so good oh i know i said i'd do the back first but it's so much easier to do the front and now i have all this fluff at the back yo my hair can we discuss how quick my hair grows? Oh my god. The last time I shaved my head was literally six, seven weeks ago. That's a lot of fucking growth. It's the Somali jeans. Per. Okay, so now that I'm like completely bald. Oh my god, this feels so good. I love having a freshly shaved head. I look like an alien right now. Oh, I just feel very much in my element. Look at all this hair. Next thing I do is I bleach my hair. The bleach that I use is from Bright. It's cruelty free and it's for coily hair. I used to use the B Blonde Jerome Russell. For me personally, my experience, it didn't lift as much as this one and it made my hair so dry. But this one, like it comes with Bright Plex. It's like all the Plex basically. So I've just mixed up all the bleach. Before I start bleaching my hair, I don't want my skin to burn, so I'm gonna get Vaseline and put it on my hairline. Cause girl, one time I forgot to do this bit and oh my god, I fucking burnt my forehead. Oh my god, my forehead is so huge. Every time I shave my head, I'm like, the Somali jeans is really out there. When people ask me, are you Somali? I'm like, is it obvious? <laughs> When I bleach my hair, I usually start from the back. For some reason, this area lifts a lot 
slower so i start from the back don't be shy darling just put it on generous left oh it's so cold people ask me all the time are you not scared of like damaging your hair to be fair not really just because like I never dye the same hair twice, like all this is new growth. Obviously it's damaging, but it's not as damaging as like bleaching the same hair twice, if that makes sense. Make sure you get all of the baby hairs. And also, these are the areas that I used to struggle, oh my god. It's easier to do this if you have someone like helping you out because sometimes you might miss spots and it's so annoying when you get a patchy bleach, but it's a lot easier to do when your hair is this short. You can just put it on like a cream. I don't think I could do other people's. I think my own. If I fuck up my own hair, like that's my own hair that I fucked up. I can only blame myself, but if I fuck up somebody else's, I can't do that. Oh my god, I'm so gassed that I'm doing this. I just hope that the new colour, I just hope it picks up. From what I can see, everything is like covered up. Once we've done that, you have to wrap your hair up. So I'm just going to use cling film. The heat helps the bleach activate and lift more. Wrap it up. Ah! So after everything is wrapped up, we're going to wait 30 minutes, I would say. Oh, whenever it looks like it's starting to lift. It's 6 p.m. now, so half six. I'm going to see if it's lifted. It's already looking like it's lifting. Don't skip to the end yet. Pause it right now, go in the comments, and try and guess what colour I'm going to go. So... My camera died. <laughs> well, not the camera, the battery died and I didn't realize. When I tried to figure it out, cause it said battery exhausted. I didn't understand what it meant. Sorry, everything is so new. So unfortunately I didn't show you guys the end result but um, of me dying it, but I dyed it blue. <laughs> I went back to blue. If you don't know, I've already had blue. I really like that. My intention was to dye it grey, but it didn't turn out cute. So I just put the blue on top and I love it. I still need to change my nails so it can match, but it's so cute. Oh, it just feels great. Yeah, that's the end of this video. Oh yeah, I did say on my Instagram that whoever gets it right, that I'm going to give a shout out to them. A lot of people actually got it right, which I was surprised about because I've been saying that I wanted to dye my hair orange, but you know, I stayed in the cool family, you know what I mean? Shout out to 5 Ram J for guessing it right. I think you were like the first person to even send an answer. So the fact that you guessed correctly is trippy. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. A lot of people have asked me to do this video. So I hope this has been great and I hope it was educational. I don't know, I feel like I was just talking shit throughout the whole thing. That's that on that. I'm gonna go out now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. Bye. <laughs>